Here are three hidden Android 14 features that Google's not talking about yet, and one bonus fun fact if you stick around to the end. The back gesture will let you see what it's going to take you back to. This new predictive back gesture was partially in Android 13, but it should be the default on Android 14. If that's the case, you won't just see this animation when you're going back to the home screen, you'll see it when you're going back within parts of the app as well. Google is working on its own app cloning feature. This has been on Samsung and other phones for ages, letting you have a different copy of apps like WhatsApp that generally don't support multiple accounts at once. And there might be a new way to track unwanted apps installed by a phone maker or carrier in the background. A hidden menu requiring a lot of tinkering to uncover shows an area where you'll be able to see and disable them if they're there. A small victory in the war on bloatware. And finally, Android 14 is upside down cake. The public sweet treat names for Android versions went away years ago, but Google kept them as internal code names, so this inverted pineapple concoction is the name you see in the new developer preview. These were unearthed by Michelle Rahman for us here at XDA, and we'll have more on the site and the channel very soon.